Let's go for checking out this Yoros event guys. I'm really excited for it. So you know I had slept last night early. But here you can see a lots of good cards guys like Rodri, Rupan Diaz, Guardiol, De Jong, Barella and <clears throat> these are the icons guys. 99 center back Laurent Blanc definitely the uh, like the partner of Paulo Maldini. The best center back pair and Rude Hullet is coming. Look at that Fernando Torres guys. That is my target you know because I'm gonna get him up in my squad of course. That's a certainty guys. And let's go for checking out the event. This is Euro's intro guys. Now here we have to check what is there or what's not. So you can see UEFA Euro 2024 chapter and these are all the <clears throat> like you have to collect the journey points from here and what you have to do you have to do the normal quest I mean the normal matches as you can see here like complete one match in the chapter and complete one adventure in the Euro uh, adventure chapter chapter play three division rivals matches play one match in UEFA Euro 2024 tournament. So all these are simple skill games, you know, this is a very simple grind and when you're gonna actually collect all of these, uh, you know, the journey points, you can also claim all of these milestones as you can see guys, road to glory, there is a 94 camp Bellingham free for all of you, which is looking really decent in my opinion and that's a base card, you can also get mash channels which will get unlocks in I think 12 days and lots of more rewards are here guys and you can see UEFA Euro star player, this could be the best reward as you can see, so right now guys the most stupid part is that we all upgraded our squad with the help of Mascheranos in the ultimate team of the season but they are again giving all of these players so yes Mascheranos will be again very important so let's actually check out the stats of this dude Bellingham guys 94 cam decent stats but this time is a cam card so you can boost his dribbling or his shooting as well which would be I think a nice one so he has gotten the embrace celebration as well this is the chapter of Yoro main guys this is the warm up definitely this event is actually you know like expecting a grind from you guys these are the three skill games these will be very simple to play i mean all of the day and you will be getting the journey points these are the daily matches and you will be able to play the daily match against every particular club as you can see like you can play the 94 against 94 ovr spain team so this is also looking decent and nice to me now what's gonna happen guys that after that you wanna like <coughs> when you will be keep completing these matches when you will be keep grinding up these all so you will be able to unlock all of these things which you are which you can see here in the euro means and not only this guys after this round of 16 will be there semi-finals will be there quarter finals will be there everything will be there and you can also select your own team for actually playing up all of these matches these are expiring in the 40 days so definitely the 40 or 45 days event and this is looking decent to me for now we will be checking more later so all of these matches you have to play yourself guys and when you're gonna play all of these matches you will be getting the uh, proper rewards according to that so as you can see some 88 to 94 rated players are there as you can see this is also looking good this is also a simple skill game guys you are getting the gems from here that's pretty nice <coughs> and these are the 88 to 94 overall players there's a 94 center back van dyke as well like uh, as you can see this match guys this is serbia versus england you have to actually choose your team now you can see these matches will keep unlocking by the time you know you you cannot play all of the matches on the very first day itself they will these will get unlocks by the time passes okay so don't forget to complete all of these matches because you are getting an exchange of mascherano here now don't think that you are getting mascherano for free you have to exchange him so i think exchange requirements will be very less as well guys i again <coughs> again i'm gonna say that mascherano is the most important thing for now in this particular game only Mascherano is the most important thing. So from this chapter you can get two Mascheranos and from that first chapter you can get one Mascherano. This looks decent to me. This is also the exchange of the Mascherano, the 91 OVR Mascherano. So okay I think this is a decent chapter and only uh, like why we should grind this chapter just for the Mascheranos guys. This is the Euro Live OVR and as you can see here guys again there are various conditions like in the next three matches ovr plus one when the player attacker midfielder has two goals and assists so all of those you know contribution the contribution of the players needed but you know what used to happen in the ucl when the ucl was there one match was needed but in the euros guys three matches the performance and the live ovr upgrades will be based on the three matches performance of any particular player and this is the euros reward chapter and here you can see similar to utots a 98 to 99 overall utots untradeable but as you can see 96 to 99 over your tradable card so i think this time the tradable card reward looks even better than before yes this could be really good guys and you have to actually you know keep collecting the journey points then you have to uh, uh, keep doing up all of the rewards as well now you can see this is the week one guys every week we will be getting some new players as well i guess uh, i i mean like we will be getting some new icons as well this is reward box guys 
and this looks pretty decent but you are getting good amount of mascheranos from here as you can see you will be getting three mascheranos guys this is really nice from the euro rewards from this box and you are also getting some training transfer tokens now training transfer tokens are in the game so this game is really feeling good like better than before in of course in every case and these are the quests guys these will be the simple quest to collect some additional journey points and these quests are uh, quests are not very difficult you know like it means that you have to actually give your time for grinding up this event for the next 40 days and i think you can actually claim some of very good rewards because 98 to 99 ovr untradeable player would be again a very good reward only if and only you are having some good amount of mash ranos with yourself and for now guys when we were checked i think we are getting six mash ranos from for for now from this particular event this is decent and this is also the a euro pack to earn the players as you can see like uh, if you are lucky enough guys you can pack all of these players you know and after that this is some more reward path here and from this reward path as well you can unlock all of these rewards these rewards are also looking decent to me but after that guys you are again getting the chance choose to choose one player from the right hand side and you know what is that guys as you can see here these 94 rated cards are looking pretty cheap you know they will be pretty cheap on market now this is also a very good pack guys this reward will be available on june 27th and uh, you are also getting 95 to 99 OVR tradable player. So all of these rewards are looking fine to me. Like only go for the untradable player if you are actually having good amount of Masheranos. Okay. Now this is the next chapter guys. This is the Euro adventure chapter. And here you can see all of these stadiums. There are lots of rewards if you're going to tap at each and every part. Like you might, you might remember like this game like winter wildcards event guys. When we were getting a lots of dudex from here now you know what is the best part of this particular event now here you are having the adventures points which you have to claim and you are having dudex here and look at this guys you are also having mascheranos here so the more amount of adventure points you are having the highest chance of packing mascherano will be there okay so that's what uh, becomes the most important thing so only you have to do one thing guys like your focus should be on collecting and accumulating as much as mascheranos as you can okay that should be your target this is also the hamburg and all of the stadiums even 98 to 95 to 98 over uh OVR players are also there and if you are lucky enough you can pack all of these so this looks really good to me now what is the actual way to earn these adventure points guys we have to also talk about that as well okay so we're gonna discuss about that thing and also hear me out guys like this euro event will be having lots of players like we already grinded team uh, TOTS event U TOTS event and we received all of the players for free we upgraded them as well so there is of no use for now because yes EA actually scammed us because they are giving almost each and every player is getting repeated in the repeated in this euros uh, so let's go for checking this out guys you can claim with the daily login here and these are the match day gifts of the adventure points and not only this guys you can shop them as well if you are actually paying up this game and not only that guys you can also get the additional uh, journey point like this adventure points from the quest as well so i'll be showing you what are the types of quest as well as you can see here these are there is one more reward path here guys because definitely when you are spending up your adventure points and you are unlocking all of those rewards so definitely you you should receive some additional confirmed rewards as you can see here and this is also looking really good guys but just don't go for this 95 to 98 overall untradeable because there the best part is that ea is offering you two universal rank up mascheranos this is the best reward from here guys so till now we have seen i think seven or eight now eighth mascherano you can get from this quest as well and from the mystery signings from the exchanges from the division rivals just try to accumulate all of the mascheranos you can easily accumulate like 15 to 20 very easily from all of the things and they might also give you some additional heroes chapter with the mascherano as well now this is the star pass guys and this uh, is the paid pass at the upside as you can see 97 center mid lampard is there and you can see the mascheranos guys if you are actually an f2p player and if you will be grinding this star pass then you will be receiving two additional two mascheranos from the lower side the f2p section okay the rewards looking decent but if you will be buying this star pass guys then you will be actually receiving some additional fc points you will be receiving some training transfer points a 97 ovr center mid lampard this is the walkout guys as you can see this walkout looks little uh, like really decent it's not a very special one but the ultimate team of the season walkout was the best if you will be actually asking me personally about that so this is the walkout and right now the renders of the cards are also a bit stupid and bullshit guys but by the time it uh, passes they'll get better now look at this one guys 
the new UCL cards will be coming because the Champions League came to an end and you can see all of these cards are looking really nice you can see a 99 rated camp Bellingham you can see Carvajal and these are all this is this is the pack from where you can pack all of these guys now I will be actually actually recommending you to save all of your gems and the 2x gem offers will be available as well guys now why this pack looks worth to me especially because this pack is offering you like 80 to 97 overall players as well here you can see Kobel guys now I think this will be the best goalkeeper in FC mobile surpassing Donnarumma and Saskatchewan both of them just look at the stats bro 106 all the stats are 100 plus and reflexes are touching 106 so definitely Kobel will be the best goalkeeper in this particular game and this is Karvahal guys he's looking killer as well 100 rated pace there as you can see and we are getting this Rudiger guys just look at those stats bro and those stats are actually justifying like yes Rudiger has gotten something crazy and his render and card art is also looking very cool with that cool render lifting up UCL trophy guys that's really nice this is Jude Pellingham guys and this time he's a cam card and definitely he's one of the best cam options as you can get from this particular game and he is also lifting the UCL trophy that is some cool render so definitely it's a very good news and it's a very good update for the Real Madrid fans just get ready for it you are also getting one Vinicius Junior card 99 rated striker again in this particular game and this Matt Hummels is also looking really good only if the work rates could be good then definitely he could be one of the best center backs for the head to head as well his old UCL card was also very capable guys and this is Aeon Madsen and you can see he's a left wing back but definitely you will be able to use him at the left back as well so he also looks very good to me uh, there we go this is Harry Kane guys and Harry Kane has gotten similar stats compared to his uh, TOTS but his UTOTS looks a bit better compared to this one this is Vitina and Vitina has also gotten good attributes but 3 star skill move and 3 star weak foot might be a little bit stupidity these are all the players from the Euros guys as you can see lots of players will be there okay even Cristiano Ronaldo bro Ronaldo Mbappe all of these players are getting cards repeatedly Rafael Liao bro again Neuer is coming man 97 goalkeeper Neuer is coming Musiala is coming there are lots of good cards from here as well Rudiger is coming Saka is there Akanji Skrenayer Kalingloglu and Granin Zaka like almost every card is getting repeated repeated here guys that's really good I guess and let's actually go for checking out the stats from the starting from Laurent Blanc this is as he has got a 95 rated pace 103 overall defending 96 physical definitely the good partner of Maldini guys he will be the best center back in game after Paolo Maldini that's a certainty because Laurent Blanc has also always gotten some good attributes you know and also that uh, Virgil van Dijk ultimate team of the season comes in the same category of the best center backs in this particular game and you can see Rudholid guys the best CM is coming very soon look at the stats bro all stats are green man that's really perfect road hullet will be the best center mid if you are actually using this card then you are actually scaring your opponents look at this bro fernando torres he is a criminal bro 103 pace 100 shooting 97 dribbling those stats are criminal bro i'm also expecting van baston to uh, get released with four star skill move so i will be waiting for him you know because one of my, my like my favorite icon so let's see if he gets a card in this euros event there might be a possibility guys and let me actually uh, you know show you more so this is philip laham and what you have to actually see guys 98 defending on philip laham is very good you know because he has gotten some very good defending attributes so i will be very happy if i can pack this card like I'll be actually saving my Mascheranos for the, for, for the next 30-40 uh, days and there is a 97 rated Cristiano Ronaldo as well guys and not only this there will be uh, multiple heroes cards as well in this particular event it's very like uh, having a similar format like compared to the team of the season every week you are getting some new icons you know and heroes as well this is Steve McManaman and he is also looking really good you know 101 piece 98 dribbling that's really nice I guess and one more hero guys you can see Rosishki I, I I'm not knowing the exact pronunciation but this time he has gotten four weak foot this card was really good like back as well but three weak foot was the only pain but this time four weak foot is looking nice and he has got an 100 dribbling which is actually uh, giving a good sign you know that it might be a good card you can see guys like multiple cards are there man so many cards in this particular event van dyke like each and every card is getting repeated guys this is nicolo barella and look at that bro he's finally got a four star skill move like i'm also like this is crazy bro this is crazy they are giving some updates to the skill moves of some players but jude bellingham this card is also looking nice but that ucl card of cam bellingham that was literally cold guys this is bernardo silva oh my god oh my hell god guys he can also have dexterity skill points insane bro right wing bernardo silva this is bruno fernandez bro 
I am definitely supporting Portugal. I am definitely supporting Portugal and Germany. Both, both of these teams. You know, Germany my main, but Portugal there is a full support to that. And this is Kevin De Bruyne. Look at that, bro. He has gotten 104 passing and finally a center mid card. So would be very good to get. And you can boost his defending as well because of the position center mid. And this is Phil Foden, guys. He's a right wing card, but again the skill points are looking stupid because he has not gotten dexterity. So I would actually uh, suggest you to avoid him. You know. And let's actually check some more cards right out there. And this is Antoine Griezmann guys this time has gotten cam as his alternate position like the cam main position so he's not a center forward anymore so he will be really good and all of these renders are not very good like of the cards but they will get updated like when the euros will get started you know so this euros will be really exciting guys and i'm really uh, like excited to see this so this is harry kane and he's this card is looking uh, like i think the ultimate team of the season version of harry kane is best guys that's a certainty this is uh, Tony Cruz. Finally, look uh, look at the stats, bro. The stats are better better compared to Kevin De Bruyne. If Cruz gets four skill move, he's definitely better than Kevin De Bruyne. That's a certainty, guys. Okay, Romelu Lukaku. If he gets four skill move, then this card would be really good as well for the head to head. Look at that. But they are not actually like in the stream. Antoine and Tark doesn't show like what is the skill move. This card looks similar to the team of the season version. Though the ultimate team of the season, Kylian Mbappe, looks the best. That's really nice. And let's check some more cards, guys. This is Jan Oblak, and he's also looking really nice. But that Kobel was looking criminal, guys. That Kobel was uh, really looking like a criminal card. That's a certainty. So pretty excited about this particular event, guys. And let's wait, uh, like, with our uh, very best patience for it. Like, it will be dropping tomorrow. So let's see what we will be getting in this particular event. And there are lots of cards which we won't be able to see, guys. But yes, we will be able to pack them. There are some good store offers as well. So try to save your gems as well for this particular event. So that's all for this amazing video guys. I think I'm really excited for this Euros event and I just want a Van Basten card with 4 skill move if it's possible from EA. Let's see if, it, if he gets released guys. Definitely he will be joining my team. That's all for this amazing video guys. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Let's meet in another amazing video of the Euros event. Jai Hind.